so in this lecture so we are going to learn again about recursion and we will look into problem of printing an array okay so you will be given an array of integers and its size now you have to print the array and not using a for loop or a while loop but you have to use recursion okay so we have to print the first problem is we need to print the array in simple manner from lower index to higher index and the other one is to print the array in reverse order so what happens is if you are given an array int array a so this is equal to so this i should write as int a 5 is equal to 1 3 5 7 9 and the size is 5 so what you need to do is print this array in just a simple while from 1 3 5 7 9 these things you have to print that is a0 a1 a2 a3 till a of n minus 1 where n is the size okay so now we have to do this problem using recursion okay so it means what somehow we have to print okay print the integers at different indexes okay and we see the problem is so our problem is print array index okay array index increasing order okay so what i do so the work is now in recursion what we need to do work is same but the input is different so work for us will be print print array element array element so this is our work at given index okay at given index and what recursion does the input becomes different so this index will be changing for us okay so first i will print like for zero then index will become one then index should become two then three then four and then stop so what to do okay so let's see what we have done here so what we have done is print array int a so i am being passed the integer array and int n so this somehow relates to our index okay so now let's see so if n is 0 then return so if the size of the array is 0 then i cannot do anything so just return else printf so size is given it is 5 here the maximum size printf percentage d a size minus n okay so size is the maximum size n so we will call the function print array a comma 5 that is the maximum size okay so now what happens it goes there so now again so we will make a stack okay so we will have a stack and let's call print array we will short we will call it pa so first thing what will happen we will call pa with a comma 5 okay so what happens n is 5 so it, it will not be this one so it goes to the else part and what it does print a 5 size is 5 and n is 5 so a 5 minus 5 a 0 is printed which is 1 then what happens it calls function print array a comma n minus 1 so when i call a function from the function i will push it onto the stack so print array a comma n minus 1 so 5 minus 1 4 so again 4 is not 0 so it comes to the else part printf percentage d a size minus n so n is now this 4 so 5 minus 4 it prints a of 1 
so 5 minus 4 which is a of 1 so it prints 3 now it calls print array a comma 4 minus 1 which is 3 so it goes again 3 is not 0 so it comes printf percentage d a size 5 minus 3 so which is a of 2 is printed which is 5 then what happens it calls now p a a comma 2 n minus 1 so it prints now it goes to the else part again prints a of 3 which is 7 now it calls p a of a comma 1 so what happens a comma 1 again it prints a size minus n so a of 4 is printed which is 9 then it calls p a a comma 0 n minus 1 is 0 so it returns so this when it returns a function when it returns so we pop it out okay so we pop that out then it comes to p a a comma 1 so we have already called the function p a comma 0 so now this is also done so this will pop out okay so now it will return to p a a comma 2 so we had called p a a comma 1 so this is now also returning so this returns this also returns and p a comma 4 returns and then p a comma 5 returns okay so everything is gone now so this is the output okay so this is about so we see 1 3 5 7 9 is printed okay so this is about printing an array using recursion okay so recursion what happens a function calls itself so the work is to print an array element we given an index and the work is this but what we need to do we call it recursively with different indices so that way we are printing okay so this was about printing an array in the normal order but other question can be print the array in reverse order using recursion okay so you see that if we just interchange these two lines this now comes here and that goes here okay so then what will happen and it will be printed in reverse order so let's see why it is happening so now what happens you see that again so we take the same array a is now 1 3 5 7 9 and size is 5 so what happens again we take an array so what happens here we take an array and first we will call so now we will call the function print array reverse order so we will call print array reverse i will give a and 5 as the argument okay so what will happen now is n 0 so n is 5 so it goes to else part it again calls print array reverse order a comma n minus 1 so 4 so we see now that printf is not getting called instead i am calling the function recursively so print array a comma 4 then it calls print array recursively a comma 3 because n minus 1 so this goes and now n is 3 n is not 0 so it goes to the else part print array a so p a r a comma n minus 1 so 2 it calls again it goes n is not 0 so p a r a comma 1 it calls n is now not 0 so it calls p a r a comma 0 so now we go to here for a comma 0 it is n is 0 it returns okay and when a function returns we know that okay it will be popped out from the stack okay so now what happens p a r a comma 1 so we were done till this part okay so one thing also will be good is that we put the line number also so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so we also tell that okay till which line we had executed in this that will help us remember so we called p a r a comma 5 so it called here so it was at line 4 okay and this or each one of them if you see they were they had called were at line 4 okay and p a 1 was at line 4 
so now what they do print a size of and here what we see that So now what happens is that PAR, so we were for each of them at line 4, then line 5 gets executed, n is 1 here, so what is executed, printf a, size is 5, 5 minus 1, so which is 4, so a of 4 is executed, printed, so it is a4 is 9 is printed, then it goes and this now returns, so we can pop it out. So it goes to PAR A comma 2. Okay, so A comma 2. So now it was at line 4. So it comes at line 5. Prints now size is 5, n is 2. So 5 minus 2. So A of 3 is printed, which is 7. And then this also is popped out. Okay, so this line is popped out now. And then what happens? Now we have PAR A comma 3 line number 4 was executed so we come to line number 5 so printf percentage D A size is 5 minus now N is 3 so 5 minus 3 2 is printed so A2 is printed which is 5 and this is also now done so it is popped out okay so this is popped out and now we come to PAR A comma 4 fourth line was executed so we come to fifth line a of size minus n n is 4 so 5 minus 4 1 a 1 is now 3 and that is printed so then what happens then this is popped out as the function is complete so it returns to the previous function from where it was called and we have what par a comma 5 so it prints now a 5 minus 5 which is a of 0 which is 1 okay so now this also gets popped out and we are complete with the function okay so this tells how to print array in reverse order using so using stack okay so using recursion so this writing a case of stack so we push functions when we call it recursively and we pop when the function is complete and returns to the function where it was called from and we also save the state like okay which line number till where it was executed so this way you can track the recursion calls okay so i hope you understand this video so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot